Nothing bothers me more than the rise of dark patterns in e-commerce, which is an expression for when designers use human psychology to essentially trick you into buying things you didn't know you were buying. So today we're gonna to be looking at this, uh, this guy who built 11 businesses, three, I, I don't know, he could be a great guy, I don't know. But I saw, grab my guide for getting started in real estate. I said, ooh, let's, let's check that out, right? Let's check it out. So I go here, uh, I fill up my information, Okay, reverse wholesaling uh, for how to work backwards. So, hey, hey, Ken Clothier here. here we go. And rather than try to razzle dazzle you and talk to you about the thousands of houses we flipped or any of that kind of good stuff, I would rather just show you how you can do it right now. That's why I want you to take advantage of this free book that I put together for you. Whoa, free pamphlet, you mean? It seems like it's like 20 pages or something. But that's not the point, okay? Sorry, I'm trying to get to you to the point of what angered me in this video, which is something called forced continuity, which he said he doesn't do, which we're going to talk about in a second. There's a lie on this page. We'll go see if you can spot it. Uh, anyway, so there's this shipping thing. So you fill in your stuff and I say, okay, I want my free book. Now give me my free book. And this is where the, the, the dark pattern gets involved. Okay. I'm in the UK today. Okay. So it's one of these free books that's actually you pay for. So it's free plus 795 domestic shipping, which for a thing as small as that, he's probably profiting off of the 795 so the fact it's free is a joke but then there's this this is what pissed me off special bonus round up your purchase by just five cents to just eight dollars total and get access to three incredible trainings so you're thinking to yourself great i'll add in five cents to my purchase right and there's this long paragraph and most people when you see a block of text like this what do you do you just kind of glaze over it you're like you read the headline and you think okay yeah i guess and this is where they trick you. Along with a free trial to smart, da da da, this offer will not be available anytime or place. Only five cents for today for seven days, then $149 a month. Are you joking? What a dirty trick, huh? Th this guy, he's putting pushing you to this free book, which is not free. And he's saying he's probably making money on the shipping or at least breaking even. I mean, he's definitely not giving it to you for free, in other words. So that's a big joke. But then there's this trick. He says, add a nickel. And what you're actually doing is signing up to pay $150 every month. And there's even more trickery when you go to his terms of service. Like you have to cancel 24 hours in advance. Otherwise, you know, he doesn't allow that. And then if you get signed up for the monthly subscription, then you have to cancel 10 days in advance of your resubscription. Otherwise you get charged again. And this stuff really bothers me. And I think it needs to be called out whenever it happens. Everybody who does this knows it, but they more think, here's the thought, I'll get more sales. I'll get away with it. I will get away with it because no one's here to call me out. No one will call me out on my crap, but I will. It doesn't stop there because as you go down, I saw this thing that really pissed me off. It says, there is no catch. Well, but isn't there though? You're trying to trick people into getting $150 a month. This is a well-known UX design scheme. It says, oh, I know there are some websites out there that offer you something cool for free, but then stick you with some program that charges your card every month. This isn't one of them. There's no hidden continuity program. What? That's exactly what there is. So if they read this, they will be lied to because there, there is no free trial. I thought there's a five cent trial and then a hidden continuity program. Just a free book. If you act now before my offer expires, I'm uh, wondering why they're doing this. It's because it's my way of giving back. Oh, what a nice guy. Because unlike other gurus, I don't make all my money teaching others how to do the same. I actually run a real business. Okay, so I'm thinking that this guy's malicious. But what I actually find out, because the internet detective, you guys know me, I had to do some digging. I got out the old magnifying glass. I was like, what's going on here, you know? And uh, I found something very interesting. I found a very similar phrase on trafficsecrets.com, AKA, oh, Big Daddy Russell. We haven't talked about him yet. He's the, he's the progenitor of all the gurus. He teaches them all his secrets. So you come to find out that I don't think this guy was maliciously lying. For sure there's a forced continuity scumbag move in here, but he wasn't maliciously lying. Instead, he was lazy, lazily copying 
Russell Brunson. See, there is no catch. I know there are some re websites out there, all that kind of stuff. That's straight out of here. There is no catch. I know there are some websites out there that offer you something for free and then stick you with a program that charges you every month. This isn't one of them. And Russell Brunson's, by the way, is not this guy who just copy and pasted some of this stuff and just replaced it with his business. Yeah, he does have a scumbag force continuity thing. So I just wanted to call this out. Like I said, I mean, here's how I think about things. People tell you who they are in their marketing. If they're a sleazebag, if they're honest, it's very obvious. They send you signals of who they are. Now, I, yeah, I don't, I'm going to be honest. I don't know Ari D Real Estate Worldwide or whatever this guy's company's name is. I don't know them. But when I see the marketing, I see how it's structured. I get a certain opinion of this company. And I think, uh, yeah, be better, okay? Be better than this in your marketing. Be better this, than this in your funnels, guys. Come on, this is pathetic. This is very easy to spot. It's not a good luck. Anyway, that's all I wanted to say. Just wanted to call this out real quick. A little coffeezilla quickie. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. I know what you mean. This ain't what it seems. Nothing but a trick. Trying to sell me on a dream. But that was where you lost me. Wake up and smell the coffee.